Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Nintendo Switch emulation on the Steam Deck Steam OS. So I've talked about this topic many times on my channel before. I've even got a video, I'll link it up here. I've got a video showing you how to get this all set up onto your Steam Deck Steam OS. Okay, but after that video, I've done it like I think many months ago or maybe even last year. Uh, but uh, after that video, a lot of people even to to this date are uh, leaving comments saying that they can't get the Steam Deck controller to work in gaming mode specifically. So they got it all working in desktop mode. Okay, so I normally tell them, make sure you do the setup, the input setup in the uh, gaming mode. So I'll show you what I do. Okay, and I'll try to help you guys out. And you know how you guys can help me out. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also check out the sponsor of today's video, which is instantgaming.com. Okay, so I'll leave a link for their website in the description. Make sure you check them out using my link. Uh, they sell games at big discounts. Some games are even up to 90% off, and that's for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Okay, make sure if you're planning to buy a game, make sure you check out their website first. They buy their game keys directly from the game developers. So that cuts out the middleman, saves you a lot of money. Make sure you check them out. I've even got videos showing you how I buy games through their website. I'll also link it up here as well. So make sure you check that out. Thank you, Instant Gaming, for sponsoring this video and yeah let's get to it so this is my steam deck and you can see i've got another camera at the bottom here this is uh, i want to show you the controls and i'm actually using uh the uh gopro gopro as the webcam so there is a slight delay okay that's the gopro uh if you use the gopro as a webcam and connect it to obs there's a delay like gopro is a good camera by itself like action camera but if you use it as a webcam there is a delay so it's not it's not like input lag or anything like that. It's just the, the camera. Okay, so if you want to like like me, I like my Nintendo Switch games as like a normal game on my Switch, uh, not Switch, on my Steam Deck home screen. So like this Moonlighter, this is the Nintendo Switch emulation. Okay, so I'm just going to launch it. Some people like to have their games launched through the launcher, game launcher or directly to the emulator. I'm using Yuzu emulator. Okay. And um, if you take a look, if you take a look at uh, if you take a look at the system settings, I'm using stable release of Steam OS, which is 3.6.24. That's the latest as of record. I don't think the Steam OS version matters because I've been using this method for 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 a long, long time. Okay. And then if you take a look at the controller settings, I have actually mapped my back grip button. So I enable back grip buttons. And then here I map my L4 to F11. So that lets me toggle between full screen and windowed mode. Okay, so once I'm here, if I toggle the, this is windowed mode, this is full screen mode. Why I need windowed mode? Because once I'm in windowed mode, I press and hold the steam button and then use my right touchpad as mouse. And then I go over here to emulation and use my R2 as the left mouse click. I can go to configure. So I recommend like setting up the controls here. So I've got the controls. You can see here, connect controller. Make sure this is like green, it's checked. And then pro controller. And then make sure input device is Steam Virtual Gamepad Zero. I know some people say they don't have this. It maybe says controller Neptune or something like that. Uh, if that's your case, you might need to set this up in desktop mode. Okay, so but for me, Steam Virtual Gamepad. And then you can see if I use my left analog, that's working, right analog, that's working. So it's not input lag, like I said. It's just um, the camera. Okay, buttons, buttons are working. D-pad, D-pad's working. Start select button. Yeah, so so that that's how it's all done. How it's all done. So make sure I, I recommend doing the setup here, um, unless you, you don't have Steam Virtual Gamepad Zero. If it says something like uh, like I don't know, a controller Neptune or something like that, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe you need to go into your desktop mode. So let me uh, just run into the game first um, and show you, okay, skip. Show you that I can move my character in game. The controllers are all working. That's, you know, that's why you're here, guys, right? So I hope this video helps you guys out. That's the plan. Let me know if you still have issues. I think if you don't have the Steam virtual keyboard thing uh, gamepad thing uh, zero then yeah so definitely working my game controllers I think you can see my camera yeah and roll and everything like that. yeah it's fine that's fine all right so uh, let's go into desktop mode 
let's go into desktop mode and let's check out the the, the settings if, if you really need to do the settings in desktop mode this is what i recommend okay, so if i go desktop mode okay that is fine that's fine i don't need to so this is my steam deck connected to the dock here and then the dock is connected to my capture card all right okay so but i need to turn off the webcam first so i can see okay so once you're in desktop mode uh open up your your emulator so yuzu so open it up and then go to emulation configure okay same thing controls and you can see here steam virtual gamepad same thing right but but if i turn back on my camera my webcam but here, if you see, I move my analog stick and like left and right, it doesn't work, right? See, the buttons aren't working. Okay, that's because I'm in desktop mode and the controller setup is desktop mode. So you need to go into gamepad mode. So what you need to do, press and hold the start button here. Okay, see at the bottom right there, it says action set activated gamepad. Now I'm in gamepad mode. So once I've done that, you can see it's working. So if you go to input device and you can't see Steam Virtual Gamepad, maybe you need to go into gamepad mode and maybe restart your emulator. Make sure you can recognize Steam Virtual Gamepad. So once you're in gamepad mode, okay, you, if you need to control your desktop, press and hold the Steam button and use the right touchpad as mouse and then use the R2 as left mouse click. So like this, I can, I can still control it, but this is gamepad mode. If you want to go back into desktop mode, press and hold the start button again. And you can see active action set activated desktop at the bottom right there. And now I don't need to press the steam button. I can still, I can just use my right touchpad to use it as a mouse. Okay. But if I go into gamepad mode, see, oh, it's still, oh, I but if I go in gamepad mode, I, if I press the L2, it doesn't, act as a mouse it doesn't like, it doesn't have the mouse click see that if but if i go desktop mode use desktop mode see, it works as double click now yeah there's a difference there's a difference so make sure you use this little trick go into gamepad mode in desktop mode gamepad mode okay I, I know it sounds confusing but yeah that's what i do so hopefully hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure you let me know in the comment section i do read my comments that's why i make this video because that video that i did uh, showing you how to set up yuzu how to do the steam rom manager using emu deck and you know make the shortcut on your home screen uh, i really like that setup uh, that video was a long time ago and I'm still reading comments to this day. So yeah, make sure you leave a comment. I'll read it. Uh, we can engage in a little conversation. Hope it all helps you out. Uh, that's the goal. And yeah, stay safe. Uh, let me know uh, if you have any other requests, other videos you want me to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.